greetings everyone. Today we'll be making uh, salmon cutlets. And uh, this is a very traditional, very grand parental type of a dish for me. Uh, something that we used to see at Jewish holidays often. Um, it's gonna take a three step process. Uh, I'd like to get organized and break it down so it shouldn't seem so difficult to make. Um, and it's not because we're using very simple ingredients. Um, so we're going to start by making, assembling the uh, ground fish. I got some salmon here from a local fish market. I'm going to use my matzo meal, salt, onion powder, dill, three eggs, and pepper. There's uh, two pounds of ground fish in here. Uh, then we're going to assemble it on a pan or in a like rather a deep pot with carrots, beets, onions. The dill will be for garnish. And then when it's cooking in the sauce, we're gonna add some potatoes. I started by cracking the three eggs. We're gonna add some salt. Uh, we're gonna add some onion powder. Oops. We're gonna add some regular uh, dry dill, but then on top we're gonna garnish with regular dill. Okay. We're gonna add some matzo meal. some water to moisten that okay and I'm gonna to top it off with some cracked pepper and mix everything in so this is how it looks when it all came together formable and well mixed okay so I went ahead and washed sliced uh, I mean, washed, peeled, and sliced uh, the beets, carrots, and onions. I have my pot here. The heat is on. I oiled it slightly. And now we're gonna, uh, and this is my mix here, and now we're gonna uh, arrange everything on the bottom before we put the cutlets in. So we're gonna go ahead with the onions. Uh, probably do half of them. Um, then we're going to go in with some carrots. So we're going to make like the, uh, we're going to take the bottom basically with vegetables. And half of the beef. Keep in mind, beef stain hands and fingers. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can season that with a little bit of salt. This is what's remaining. We're going to use that for the top. Okay. And um, you can either form the cutlets by hand or you can just use a spoon. I'm going to be using a spoon. And just layer them on top of the vegetables. Again. And a tiny bit of distance between. And continue doing that. Okay, this is how they're arranged here. This is about half my mixture. I'm going to go ahead and layer again with this with the onions, with the carrots. And with the beets. Uh, it's currently on low heat, so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Okay. 
Um, I'm preheating uh, some water in the teapot and I'm gonna cover this with some water and it's gonna cook in these nice vegetables and I'm gonna give the, um, the fish cutlets a color. Okay, that's the entirety. Alrighty, I did some spray oil on top, salted the vegetables a little bit and threw in a few bay leaves. I'm now going to pour in the water, try to, put, uh, try to pour it very lightly so it doesn't break your cutlets apart, maybe off to the side. See where it was pouring, it, it ruptured some of them, but it's okay, it's going to cook through. You can move the pot a little bit to coat them, um, and let it cook. Uh, covered with a lid. All right, uh, while the cooking process was happening, I was able to uh, wash, peel, and um, slice these uh, potatoes. Uh, here, I attempted to turn this one over. It seems like it's it's good. It's stuck together. It's complete. I mean, it's not complete on cooking yet, but it's, it's not crazily falling apart, which is good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes, add a little bit more water, and continue the cooking process until it's fully done. Okay. Uh, don't forget to season your potatoes as well. Once they're in, you can top it off with also some salt and pepper. And then uh, once it's submerged, it's going to take on the flavors of what you have in the pot. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. Bam. This is absolutely gorgeous. Looks like borscht a little bit, but it's not. Uh, so once I'm going to cook these, once the potatoes are tender, uh, we can turn this off. Wait guys, we forgot something. We have all this mixture left. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I didn't forget. Um, so either you get, before you begin, you get a pan that's relatively, um, I wouldn't say shallow, but just wide and big and cook all of it or get a smaller portion of uh, ground fish or you can just fry this up just like um, fish cakes. Crab cakes, fish cakes. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna have fish in two different cooking styles, which is nice because you have variety. Okay, I'll make these, show you how they turn out. Okay, we're gonna flip. Let's see what's, okay, it's working. Okay, I'll continue. Okay, they're holding uh, very well. I'm gonna add some water so they don't over fry. I'm gonna cover with a lid, they're gonna cook through, and then I'm gonna turn them off. Okay. I'm gonna borrow my lid from the other pot. On the other side here, since I took my lid off, you can see everything is coming along very well. The potatoes are getting the color from the whole dish. Um, and these started peeking through. They're coming to the top. So they're pretty much fully ready, just waiting on the potatoes. All righty, final product. Winning dish, smells delicious, looks delicious. Pretty easy to make. Okay, my lunch is finally complete, I'm starving. So this is how it turned out. It looks pretty good. Bon appetit.